July 31st, late night, around August 1st, early morning. No water for it. No first stroll. No fire. Hey, you got a fire or something? Yeah, there's a fire down there. Oh. Nobody hurt? No, I don't think you do it. I hope not. Nobody hopes for anybody to get hurt, though. No. Mr. O'Connor, are you living around here now? Who am I seeing? I can't even see ya. I'm always around here. Yeah, I'm still up more on the avenue. And it's one you don't have any not more in Avenue. Wilson. Wilson Avenue. Yeah, I was going to say you got no shoes on. My car's parked up there. Oh, I thought you were living around here, that's all. No, no. I, my car's parked up I there. I just I heard the sirens just being nosy. Yeah, no, you know me. I oh, I you moved, that's listen, all. The last person I'll ever worry about is you, I'll tell you that right oh, yeah. now. Man. <laughs> I no, I don't give you no, I'll never give you an issue. No. Right? As long as nobody gives me an issue, we're, hey. all, we're all good. Well, I guess it's not January. No shoes, huh? No. You know what? I was told by an old fella back years ago. He says, if you, can, you walk, keep walking around bare feet, he said, you know what's going to happen? You know, you're going to have good posture. Yeah, maybe. Right? Makes sense. You know, it's natural, yeah. right? Probably. Right? Now, my brother was a runner, Tony. You know Tony? Yeah. Mark's father. Yeah. Kim. Got no ankles now at all. No. Right? And he was a runner all his life and everything. Yeah. I always walked barefoot in the woods and everything. Was a, was a runner? Yeah, Tony. Oh, he, yeah. he ran marathons and everything. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, he could run. Mark worked with the on the lobster boat this, this summer. I don't know what he's doing. Him, we don't even talk anymore. I don't know what I still don't know what happened. So I just leave it at that. You know, family. You don't know what they're oh, gonna yeah. do tomorrow. <laughs> how's uh how is Tony doing? Young Tony. There's nothing wrong with young Tony. No? Nothing at all. As everybody treats him like that because he had one episode when he was young, right? And they put him like he had something wrong with him mentally. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that boy. He he did because they, they put him they, they got him on whatever drugs it is to keep you calm, which I'm not going down here and water for it. And you look like you're almost done. Yeah, they're leaving. Well, <laughs> Taki is after. It's absolutely cool, man. No, it don't bother me. Sorry for the bouncing, but it's just hanging on my chest until I get down here where I can steady it. That's a pretty machine.
Hi, James. You don't know how to get a hold of this one, do you? I have no idea, buddy. I don't know who lives there. Oh. I was just out for a walk. The neighbors that were here again. I'm just going to go around. Keep going down. Well, even though I said something to him, I'm going to give him enough room that in case somebody decides to back up because everything seems to be cleaned up. Give him enough room to get around. I just don't want to show you, if you don't want it, I'm just letting you know, right? Like, as far as a cop or these guys, I don't care if they see me filming, right? But, as far as the normal everyday guy, even though I can, I don't. Yeah, they were asked, do you know who lives there? Fireman was asking me, I don't got a clue. Still smoking. Smoking by the roof there, huh? Was it? Now, you know Dinks, Cody? He, he was asking me if I know who lived there. I lived there here all my life. Yeah. I don't know. They're, they're roaming around now. They're looking. The cops came down. I was talking to the two cops up by the van up there before. But, uh, I don't, so we were talking about this. Whew. I just hope there's nobody in there. That's, this fella here is a pro. Tony, I don't know, I don't know who the other guy is. Yeah. He, uh, I don't have no problem. Him and I always have great conversations when I see him. <laughs> he said, you live around here? No, why do you think that? He said, you're bare feet. Where do you live? I'm, I'm Wilson Avenue. You live on those? Yeah. Well, my, my car is up on that up on, uh, fucking... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I wonder but, if there's anybody in this car here. I don't know. That might be the other cop to sir. Yeah. I'll see you in a second. I'll go look. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. No law against looking in the car. No. Say hi. But rock uh, dad, he's a people too. Is he in there? Are you in there, sir? Can't tell. Stop in there. Want me to take her for a rip? <laughs> I bet you she go. You know what? Somebody was asking me. I, 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 I do it my job. I, I have to deal with taxis, right? Yeah. He said, "What kind of car would you use?" I said, "What could I talk to you?" Yeah. 
Exactly what they use, right there. Yeah. If I stay in here long enough, he's gonna ask me what I'm doing. Well, if you get in it, they'll ask you too. Oh yeah. No, but sometimes they get mad when you just look in the window. Yeah. <laughs> it is a pretty car though. Really yep. That is. <laughs> I wanted a picture in front of one of these with the lights flashing. I'm gonna end this video for a sec. Uh, I'm not staying here for a whole lot of time. There's a fire. Looks like there's nobody in there. Um, we're good. I'm, uh, I am bare feet and it is a little cool. Talk to you later.